evening. Cool. Thank you very much for the hype. How is everybody on this fine day? Picked another song that ended right as chatting started. <laughs> Pretzel Rocks is just good at that. It's just part of their thing. How is... How's everybody Saturday? I hope it's going well. I feel like we've had this song before. This is like the same song. It's like a five and a half minute long song that sounds like the intro to a movie. There we go. Blizzard Blitz by Abstraction. That's better. A little bit of a jump all over the place track though. So I was watching somebody earlier today and Pretzel has some amazing music. Uh, whereabouts? What's uh, what's a what's a playlist that I've barely browsed their playlists? Uh, mostly because chill works for a good intro, but I mean, as far as uh, what we've had playing here, we haven't used it too too much. Uh, I think if we get into playing games that have too repetitive of music, you at work till eleven? No. I hope you are having an all right night. I hope that people are being very pleasant to you. I hope that customers are being customary. Is that a way? Is that a thing? But I do hope people are being polite. They were listening to some alternative rock stuff, and it had Blue Stolly. I don't know Blue Stolly, but they're like, that's actually a band you know? That's pretty dope. Honestly, Pretzel Rocks has been working hard to try and uh, build a good repu like a, a good rapport with all of their artists. Uh, Mike, how's it going, Mike? Um, they they pay well. They state uh, it's one of the things they probably just because being a new uh, company, they probably just kind of for the most part they don't have a lot of overhead. I think it's probably what it is. I just realized I forgot to do the filtering on my webcam last time. Hold on a sec. Can I do that from this? I really, really can't, can I? I wonder if I can go into, hold on a second. One of these ones for a sec. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like way tiny off to the side. I should have something over here on the side just so that when we flip to this mode, Properties, yeah, there we go. Configure video. Uh, sharpness needs to be way up. Hi, guys. Uh, and auto zoom. No, auto focus has to be turned off. There we go. I think exposure looks okay. Bugs me when it changes that. I can guarantee you know Blue Stolly. Used to play some of his stuff back when I was a Twitch DJ. Okay, cool. I would probably recognize that. That's not bad, that's not bad. Um, yeah, the same way that Monster Cat has been doing what Pretzel Rocks does, but for a lot longer, and they've, you know, they've got, uh, oh, I can't picture his name. I can picture the big marshmallow-shaped head, though. Is Anyway, uh, but uh, they've got a couple of good artists uh, through Monster Cat, and so I know, I know a bunch of artists have, you know, shined up to the idea of alternative uh, source uh, but pretzels pretzel came out strong beginning of the pandemic they had some pretty good ideas I think they were putting together some nice um, so that's really cool that's really sweet I'm glad, to, I'm glad to hear that their alternative stuff is working out we haven't really played much of them chill but um, I'd be interested like if we ever got back to playing Minecraft uh, we've played pretzel rocks through satisfactory a few times because uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, uh, background music potential there. Yeah, I, th I, th I think you see toes. I think that's what you see. <laughs> I see there is a Clarington on the couch because Wiggly feet so high, Clarington. Now she's waving with her toes. There you go. Yeah, that's the that's the blanket covered in BJs and lips and skulls and hearts. It's got a lot of stuff going on for it. We like fuzzy blankets. They're warm. It's really nice. Right now, just for the nice airflow, the patio door's open. You've probably already heard the emergency vehicles. There will be dozens of those, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so you have to have the fleecy blankets out. 
So chill base is basically just like it's the EDM station. I mean, like chill is already EDM regardless, but like this is more like slow tech now. Take a hard pass on fuzzy blankets this time of year here. Oh no, I yeah, I can I can believe that. Uh, nights here with the with the, the forked river and all, and us being fairly close to it, uh, they can get. The little tiny bit of breeze can be just a, 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 a tad chill. We'll we'll go from like being super warm during the day and then have like a pretty chill uh, uh, evening and you won't really notice that. So like camping and whatnot. Scorching hot throughout the day. As soon as the sun goes down, it drops to like 10 degrees. It's ridiculous. Carlington? No, it's actually, it's Clarington, uh, my wife. Uh, she does not make appearances on on uh, on stream, but you can sometimes see her toes. Just occasionally, you get to see her toes. We have a long sofa. We did that on purpose. Our previous sofa was just as long, but the 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 sides on it were like were this big. Like it was, it could take it could take a clean Xbox long sitting on the side, and we're like we're not having that. So look, like, check out the sides on these things. They're like this big now. So like that gives you much extra sofa. You can you can actually sleep on this thing. It's fantastic. So that's kind of cool. Oh, I mean, what? I mean, uh, and you're fixing up your Discord? How are you fixing up your Discord? Your Discord's are, all right. I like your Discord. Uh, Discords are meant to be all kinds of slow and filled with nothing but memes. <laughs> that's essentially the point of them. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's dope. I really that's really cool. I saw that you added a new bot. I check out your welcome channel when I see it split up. So, um, I don't have a whole lot of bots. I I'm, I mean, I'm up for suggestions if people want stuff that the Discord should do. If 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 you want things, uh, I don't really listen to tunes throughout the day, so I've considered a few times having a music uh, a music station, so that that way, whatever somebody is listening to, they could broadcast that for everybody to listen to. Uh, I would get that started myself, but I don't I don't listen to tunes much throughout the day. Pretty much, we listen to the Pretzel Rocks Chill Day Station. And we listened for like the first 10 minutes of my stream and then we're going to this game. I'm unsure if Pretzel Rock's music would suit a game like Flame in the Flood if we end up playing it a lot for the RNGs of it. <clears throat> Switch over to Endless Mode or something and see how long we can last. So, debating placing categories behind rules. Is it like similar to the way that I have? Like just, I mean, how my memes dirty you gotta opt in for? Stuff like that. So, speaking of tunes, if you forgot... I, yes, I did forget about it. I checked it out uh, earlier today, but I couldn't. I couldn't actually like listen to it. But I noticed it. Hold on, where I've actually got it just sitting up. Hold on, music appreci. Yeah, uh, song is amazing even without the English subtitles. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I, I'm hope. Okay, hold on. How about this? I've got. Do 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 do. There, and then we'll go pause. There. I've got a, a browser open right now with extra things for me to check out, and now that's been added to it. So I've, now I've got two, three things off to the side. That's how I have to prioritize stuff. That's how I managed to watch the Outer Wilds uh, documentary thingy, the no clip, uh, things like that. So cleans it up, and you can add more games. Cool. No, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, people can opt in in order to see the extra bits if they want to see the extra bits. Um, that's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. Um, yeah, Discord, Discord has some really powerful utility for, uh, putting stuff, uh, for locking things behind having to click an emote. I think that's really cool. I think that's a, a nice way to have it. You like how it's set up, but it's a mess right now. I keep, every once in a while I look at mine and I'm like, oh, why is that section even over here? We don't even do anything with that. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I have a lot of hidden sections too. Like I'll straight up mark, uh, a channel private and then just move it down. I've got a whole section of dead channels. Uh, I used to make a channel for every major game that we played, but if you notice, we now play a boat ton of games. Like we're at like 45 titles now or something that we've played on stream. Uh, but I was at like eight or nine uh, channels just for games that we played. And I'm like, we could just have a game chat. And if you notice, even game chat doesn't get a ton of use because memes will get posted in memes. So yeah, it's interesting. The, oh, this is more of the 100 day delay goodbye gravity. It's a 
five minute, 36 second long track. And it sounds like the beginning of a movie. It was cool for the intro of the stream, though. Like, that's almost the length of the beginning of our stream. So that's kind of not too bad. Um, yeah, Noob, uh, there's only a handful of discords I've been in that have had, like, high number of people, low number of channels, and it works. Uh, I've seen a lot of discords that are, like, three times bigger than the, uh, like, the number of channels that you or I have. Just, like, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. Like in some of those, the some of the the channel areas are dedicated to something I don't even care about. Games that I don't even play, whatever, that sort of thing. So I have no problem minimizing those ones and just opting out of the whole section. But like we're like we're talking whole sections of channels will just be like not applicable to me. Um so yeah, Discord's an interesting place. You can really make it what you want. It's kinda nice that way. Mm. One for Among Us, Nintendo stuff, Minecraft. Well, and the neat thing about Discord as well is like you could put voice and text channels in each one of those and make them just separate to those games. That way, if somebody joins your Discord because they're really interested in Final Fantasy XIV, but they have no interest in anything else, then they know that their relevancy of posting memes doesn't have to be in a general channel if you want. Um, really even make it like that level separated. And then people can opt into all of the channels if they want, or just two or three. Um keeps it like compartmentalized if you will it's almost like as if you'd be running like a discord within discords that's kind of neat it's not too shabby all right let's jump into some games oh i have too many places i keep games anymore is this on epic is this do i have to launch gog where am i going to get my game tonight we are being hosted by Amazon Games. Oh yeah, and then this part gets really loud for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why that part of it's really loud. Bunny bun? <laughs> Close the window, it's windy. <laughs> Was that... Now, also, okay, so Bunny Bun, whoa, and thank you oh so very, very much for the sub. What is up? Hype, hype in the chat. Hello, how are you this evening? How are you? RJC, what is going on? How are you this evening? And I'm, I must ask, how how loud was that? How loud was, was that? Because I have a VST plugin that should be limiting it, but I thought it's been making my game and my stream really, really quiet lately. Um, so, I'm curious. I changed some levels late lately. Let me know if I'm actually hurting y'alls. Been sleeping all day, watching a lot of Chicago Med. I don't know Chicago Med, uh, but I watched, sadly, boat tons of Grey's Anatomy. I watched proudly boat tons of Scrubs. That show's hilarious. Uh, I haven't seen too many of the other good med shows. Your in game intro vary compared to the rest of the stream? So wait a minute, my intro is loud compared to the rest of the stream? I even notched that down. I normally keep Pretzel Rocks at 50% for the intro and it's only been 45% lately because of the channel. Uh, chill base has been a little bit loud. And enjoying my talks? Oh, RJC. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I like chatting. It's fun. We accidentally, one week, uh, there was a stream. We chatted the entire night. We forgot to launch the game. It was great. The game intro where it went no chill. No chill? Yeah, so that part... I don't know why, but I don't think it does it every time when I launch this game. Um... Outer Wilds did the same thing. The intro would be very, very, very loud, and then suddenly we'd go, Oh yeah, we have settings. Fuck. <laughs> we have settings. Chicago Med is basically another cheesy romance drama in the Medfield. Kind of like Grey's. Though I never, uh, you've never seen Grey's Anatomy, couldn't get into it. So, Grey's Anatomy was moderately, like, cheesy, but not particularly chat, like, not, not, not particularly... I, I'm trying to think of the term for it, but like, it wasn't such trash for the first maybe four seasons. It had some like really interesting stories and stuff, and then they just kind of started to screw with stuff. And it's like, 
Are you seriously on like 28 seasons now? That is nonsense. It's crazy. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. The Pinewood sign says do not idle. I think that I think that nonsense should happen at this point of the game if you do what I'm doing now. Like these these crows should start just screwing around and you know all that not it'd be great. So yeah, I don't know what to do about our, our super rushy game intro. I could have the game, I guess, running. Ooh, hold on a sec. No, when I hit when when I when I alt tab, there's still there's still sound. Although, I guess we could have like right? There's like the Pretzel Rocks game music, and then we've got, you know, this going on. Just the sound of crows and wind for the five minutes of our intro. It didn't help that everyone I knew kept talking about it and spoiling it for you like Game of Thrones. Oh, yes. Especially like if there's... It, Grey's was filled with cliffhanger and uh, cliffhanger uh, type stuff. And uh, knowing that would just be terrible. Game of Thrones was good all seven seasons. Ah, right up until the last season. They probably shouldn't have. The last season should have been two seasons long and it would have been really, really awesome. Like really, really awesome. Uh, okay. How? That's how we attack stuff. Oh, you're ignoring season eight. I didn't, I couldn't remember how many seasons there was. All right, we need to try to remember all of our buttons. How do we... Okay, that one shows me that. All right, we have to take a look for how we do stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, RJC, we did, we did. Edder Wilds was, uh, was fantastic. Hands down my favorite game. Uh, that I've played absolutely the best uh, but I know that I also had a very special um, playthrough of that because y'all because y'all use interact as E that makes sense what do I how do I don't remember how I make stuff I don't remember how to do things right click uh, swing staff is spacebar Oh, inventory is I. So that's something I, I want to be able to change that about this game. But these are, are not mappable. This is just, by the way, this is what you do. When you play this game, this is what you do. So every time I have to get into inventory, I have to hit I. Yeah. I've seen the last clip of the last app of season eight and even thought it was poor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Season eight, season eight Game of Thrones was a bit sad. Okay, we are healthy. Uh, these are the things we've discovered. Could I make a pouch? Should I make a pouch? Um, add more stuff to our things. Uh, trying to remember where we are in here. We still just have all of our light gear. Oh, we're early in this game. <clears throat> we're very early in this game. Uh, yeah, we've just got our, our basic gear on us. Although we've managed to get some bunnies, so that's great. Always make room for hoarding. Yes. Well, I'm thinking that's probably best. We should probably at least make ourselves a pouch. I run out of crap all the time. There, bag capacity. Fill in those extra spots. I don't know if I get to make more of those, though. I don't know if I'm allowed to make... I guess, yeah. I've expanded to 28 slots. Hmm. <laughs> you read that wrong. I mean, all right, so we're going to hopefully live a little longer today where uh, we, we, we have to try to prioritize medicine this time. We didn't do that at all last time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, you want to give it a second, a second look over. Uh, oh, I also found out this is poison ivy. <laughs> I, I think I ran through it a few times on a few runs and didn't consider anything of it. And then the next thing I know, I got poison ivy on one of my runs. That, uh, it, it wears off. Um, 
Snake bites don't. You cannot eat the dog, no. <laughs> I long dark has dog food. That's not the same though. I'm playing too many survival games these days. Or not enough survival games. So how's everybody's Saturday? How's everybody's Saturday doing? Uh, I don't think we need to sleep. I don't think we even need to worry about cooking food right now. I think we're doing good on a bunch of stuff. Uh, it, it is Saturday for me. I have one of those calendar things and it says Saturday. Raft inventory available. Let's go for a jump. Great barbecue day? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am jealous. I have no barbecue. Ooh, penicillin schematic. Yeah, I have no I have no barbecue, but I would I would take a barbecue. That is fantastic. I have room. I have a uh I have a large enough balcony that I could have one. Uh um so I have the space for it, uh, and I can afford it, but I, I lack um it's a uh, gumption. I don't I, <laughs> I I grew up on barbecue and I would love to barbecue, but I don't have the infrastructure in my head for barbecue was good a lot of work to cook it all that see there you go there you go so kudos to you kudos to you that's awesome oh hi hi that's a wolf get back uh can we make stuff jeebas that's uh by the way that's a wolf what do we need for those guys what have we oh do we have to have we don't even have our stone knife, do we? Uh, oh no, we do, we do. We have our stone knife in our belt, or in our hammer. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, shoot. We need to be able to make, I don't think I'll even, yeah, spear trap. Braided cord? Have I not made any braided cord? It's more like a werewolf. They do a great job on the werewolf. Oh, have I not even found cattails yet? Oh, we're early game. We're early game. You live, uh, you live on not the ground floor, so I don't think barbecue is the best uh, of ideas for you. Oh, come on, it's safe. Oh no, don't, don't get in the raft. Don't get in the raft. Hold on, don't get in the raft. Get out. Get out. Okay, yeah, I think we have to move on. I think this guy's a little too. Get out. I'm waving my stick at you. Get out. All right. Yeah, we're gonna mosey. I don't. I don't want to chance it. <clears throat> if it catches fire, just throw it off the balcony, right? There we go. Let's go on in here. I've had these songs in my head for like easily a week. Nice! I get me a jar. Alright. Alright. Ooh, cattails, peeps. Cattails. That's gold star. That's gold star. <clears throat> Can we go back to that place and go, go, go get us some wolf? Not that it wouldn't be safe, more the wind constantly going into your apartment, smoke from the grill. Um, the balcony's big enough, uh, and throughout actual summer, we, uh, this place is locked up tight as a drum. But I'm with you, I'm with you, that, that can be, uh, that can be a bit of a challenge. Uh, oh. Ash cakes, I suppose. Do I only have... Oh, this is actually cooked. Oh, we're already doing great. Yeah, my folks for a while there had one of those electric grills and like, they don't smoke nearly as much. But they also don't cook nearly as well. Like, they don't do too bad. But I'd like a nice... 
a nice grill out there if I could get one. Why cook when you can eat raw? Raw. Um, let's make some of that fine arsed braided corn and see if from that we get to, yes, spear trap indeed. Can we make two of those just because I will feel safer? Oh, don't, don't make insulated boots. Don't do that yet. We don't need that. We need another braided cord. Get it in gear. All right, and then what else do we need? I see many people do it anyways. Just close the windows. Nice little small grill. Uh, well, like, you can get the ones that have the propane tanks that are literally only this big. They're just a tiny little thing. I think that for the amount that I'm looking to do currently... Oh, I need more saplings. <laughs> um, so like when 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 I grew up, we had the cheapest possible barbecue that you could get. That's a full size. Um, the like sixty dollar grill you get at Canadian Tire. Ooh, old lumber. Thanks. Uh, and we just made it work. Those things that came with the the auto igniter that would go like pink. Pink, pink, and the thing was super loud, and they only worked three times, and they'd never work again. Uh, so we always had those growing up, but they took the big, big, big uh, propane. Um, which, you know, isn't too bad, but if you're not interested in barbecuing every single day in the summertime, they're a bit much. So grow, uh, a, a, a few years went by and my folks wanted another barbecue, no more kids at home, that sort of thing. And so we got just one of the little guys <clears throat> and it was pretty decent. Like there was one year that we, I don't even think we, we used it all. All right, I think, do we want to grab some bunnies while we're here? Do I have the means? What do we got in our bag? Uh, mm -hmm. Make another pouch if we do. <laughs> Bunnies? This is your music or game music? This is actually game music. Uh, so it'll it'll come in uh, sporadically. <laughs> it's fun that I can summon you though. See? There's bunnies. There's all kinds of bunnies. <clears throat> The bunnies in this game are super cute. Uh, but I think we're okay. We're gonna... You eat bunnies? <clears throat> I don't think I've eaten bunnies. You eat live bunnies? Like whole? Straight whole? Snake style? <laughs> Just straight snake style? Uh, out we go. See, for some reason, the game is utterly silent right now. No music at all. I don't really know why. And then we get like rushy water sounds when you hit white water rapid. And the game gets like, whoa. And you try not to do that. If you do that too much, you lose. <laughs> so you try not to do that. And then you get back into regular water and it's for some reason eerily quiet. And then when there's plot moments, then we get like really cool sounds. That's kind of cool. I eat live bunnies. That, that's your use. Oh, wow. That is so fun. I got to say, I, I love usernames. And it's what I love about Twitch as well, is that you get to see what people had to come up with. It's creative because they're all unique, right? So you have to, so you, you get to see. But like, I love that in World of Warcraft, waiting around for raids and stuff. And you get to see what people called themselves and whatever. Um, in tech support, when you take people's uh, email addresses and whatever, you get some great ones. Used to be I eat babies. Yeah, there was one when I was in tech support. Like you might have to take down an email address, like dead babies heads on pikes at yahoo.com. I'm like, that's the example you bring out to people in your th like jeebus. Come on. Um, so yeah. I'm like, the rest of the room has to be braced for this. I'm like, oh, I really hope I get that, dude. That'd be fantastic. PlayStation does not like new. No. 
Oh, you can't like use noob like it filters the word noob. So you had to be called something else. That's whack. Uh, let's fill another jar. Water replenished. Wait, water replenished or water added to my... Okay, good. We've got extra good stuff. Nice, 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 nice. Um... Thanks, Daisy. She found me mulberries. Which I should eat a bunch of. I don't know if wild garlic turns into anything for us. It just says it's good for food. Adds nutrition. But it doesn't go bad. So, you know, great stuff. And we're just going to eat a whole stack of these because they always go bad on me. It's exactly why I had that name. Uh, but I guess people took it literal so it kept getting reported. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I don't think I had... Uh, I've pretty much been Edge of the Freak for... Longer than... A lot of people have had their names, I think. Uh, I tried to ask... Look at all the bunnies. This is fantastic. I tried to ask Hotmail if they could tell me when. And I can't remember... It's like 97 or something like that they said that I got this name. When I made my Edge of the Freak at Hotmail email address. Oh, Sumac T. Okay, we gotta see if we can do that. You've not had new newbie for very long? No? Get some charcoal. Cool beans. Sit. Sumac T is what we needed last time to cure uh, poisoning. I like that when you make stuff, you get a little scrum of a guitar. It's still neat. Oh, and we can make another spear trap now. We might get ourselves some wolf. That is fantastic. Yeah, it was a buddy of mine back in the day. We didn't have internet access at home. Uh, we had to go to the, um, the public library. Uh, and it was then that I established... Uh, and actually, it, it definitely predates that. Um, but the bulletin board systems have long since been dismantled and don't exist anymore. So. Oh, I suppose we should be using... We should be making bandages when we can. Alright, let's leave. Full out crafting. So yeah, I used to belong to bulletin board systems, but back then I used um, a bunch of different anime-based... Uh, usernames, none of which I capped because they were all characters from shows. So, you're only 14, so you haven't had your name long. Don't actually joke about that. I have to ban you from my chat if you're if you're if you if you tell me that you're a minor. We're an 18 plus channel, and oh jeebus, I'm wet. <laughs> we're an 18 plus channel, so I think you've already told us several times that you are are are. Oh, and then that's poison ivy. Don't even go there. Hold on, do we have a, do we have the command for that? Can I? There we go. <laughs> You're only 12. Um, but it is something that, that does come up that, oh, and I'm ill-equipped. Gee, those people were dying over here. Uh, it is, it is somewhat of an issue in, in many uh, communities that uh, they, they find out that they've got fairly young kids that have been having fairly mature conversations uh, equip you I turn three tomorrow <laughs> are we actually adult enough to be in here well then I don't run I don't run your average uh, 18 plus community you know we don't we don't swear too much we don't talk about too many mature things, but just, you know, just in case. But it's kind of like, if you were in the middle of, you know, having a really cool post-corona party and having a great time and, you know, doing great things and whatnot, and then you look over and there's this, like, 14-year-old kid doing shots with one of your own family members, and just as you're about to be like, hey, you can't, some police officer's like, so that kid says that you invited him? 
<laughs> and you're like, I, right? So that's just kind of a, yeah, we don't swear too much other than the walrus, they don't count. Well, and, and walrus, to be fair, I don't think that you swear in text very frequently. We're an eloquent type. We don't mind swearing sometimes, but we we're 14, uh, 22 years ago. <laughs> Great times, no internet. So you're also from a time when uh, we did not have instant communication with people very far away. Playing Wargrove with your boyfriend yesterday, characters were the children of his character that he was playing and kept trolling. I'm calling dad and screaming for candy. That's absolutely, uh, that's damn, that's absolutely. Damn, y'all are old. See, that's just it. 22, gonna be 23 in June. Yeah, I'm I'm all kinds of proper old. Uh, and it was actually kind of fun because I was in college uh, with a bunch of people that were also old, but they didn't realize that I was among them for old. And I'm like, it's it's all in perspective. You don't actually have to be old. Most of us do it for emphasis. Sometimes you need a lot of emphasis. Like, fuck, that was a lot of land I just hit. Can we get over to this? Do it. Done. <laughs> New bait's an old lady. It's okay. <laughs> it's bad now if somebody knocks on our home door and we look at each other and hide beside the couch and say, who's there? <laughs> That's amazing. I don't want to answer it. Did I actually equip my boots? Hold on. We equipped those, right? Yep, yep. Insulated, insulated. Okay, good. Ooh, whose quilt is this? Yes, John Boer. Indeed. All right, so this is a good plot island for us. The quilt of John Boer. Dim, 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 dim. And we're still ill-equipped? Oh, wow. We went from, like, not too bad, yo, to, hey, all your gear sucks. You're in your mid twenties and you feel a lot of uh, feel old a lot now, <laughs> because you're you're old soul. That's the difference. You're old soul. Like I knew a dude that was like in his early thirties, maybe late twenties, but in high school he was called the old man. Like all of his buddies would be looking to do something stupid, and then they'd literally stop and be like, "Do you think we should do it?" And he's like, "No, you're all idiots. Somebody's gonna lose an arm." And they're like, "Ah." And then they come up with something better to do. <laughs> so, you know, he got to be known as the old man because he's the one with reason and he's the one that like would think things through even though he's in high school. I'm like, that sounds brilliant to me. I would love to have been known as the old man back then. I was the devil on everyone's shoulder though. I'm like, I bet you, you can do it. I invented bed sledding at two different parties using a mattress going down a flight of stairs. We just happened to notice that it would fit widthwise. I think we've combed this whole place. I didn't go down once. I convinced boatloads of drunk people to ride mattresses downstairs. I don't bed sled, are you kidding me? That's dangerous. So I'm kind of the opposite of what you really want to have, but you know. Uh, right back in the, uh, the days in the 90s was normal to knock on people's door. Uh, visit nowadays with the cell phone and text, it's very rare somebody comes uh, unannounced. No, it's actually to the point, my brother used to be really social about that stuff. And he got to the point that, like, if he doesn't know you're coming over, he will not be kind to you. He's, like, he's just not up for the, he's not up for the, 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 the sudden out of nowhere. Uh, whereas, like, he used to be all about it. Like, come on in. He's already got food in the fridge. Let's do it. You know, that sort of thing. But then, like, the, the instant gratification world shows up and he's just like, hey, you could have texted. <laughs> Ask my bun, I look 12. I, and those of us that have the youth, I tell people I'm not showing you where the fountain of youth is. I'm just not. Sister looks 12, but it's actually dinosaur age. Lived through the 90s? Yes. 90s was fantastic. I was in high school in the 90s. So I've the 90s was great for me. Mm. Oh. You look way older than you actually are. I, I knew... Um, I, I love I love how people can look different ages. Okay, we gotta. Ooh, can we make it over to this place? 
Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna die if we do that. Okay, don't do it. Don't do it. Ooh, region three. Done and done. Okay, we're in warmer, warmer territory now. Just for a little bit, I guess. When I was 13, people used to mistake you for 17, 19. Oh, that must have been absolutely terrible. I actually knew a couple of girls in that same kind of a category, but they hung out with me and I was into like video games and like nature and crap. Ooh, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we? Good. Woo! This is a marina. We get to fix our boat. I haven't been carded since you were 15. I still get carded if I shave. <laughs> Uh, and it's funny because it, it'll inevitably be somebody that's older. Uh, the younger people don't care. They can almost spot it. But, like, somebody that's older, slightly older than me, will, uh, will card me. And then we'll talk about, like, old TV shows and stuff while we're standing there. Right? Like, it, it's great. And, of course, when you were 18, people thought you were 23. So, yeah, they, uh... They actually raise up the raft so you can fix it. And then you can you can add... Uh, we we have a rudder. We have storage. Oh, beautiful. We got to start using that raft storage. Uh, once we get enough of a bit... Oh. Okay, I thought that meant we... Uh, this was lit up. I thought it meant we, had, we could make a shelter. We've not had anything other than storage and rudder, though. So, um, partly because we keep using our stuff to fix our boat... Nice and fixed. Uh, the only other thing is to grab gas, but I don't have a container for it. We don't have anything that uses it anyway, but that's good. I'm super glad that we got that fixed. Uh, below me, so ab above my avatar picture is the, the, the blue. That's my stamina. That's for like when I'm running around. Um, but when I'm in my raft, there's a yellow one and that's the health of my raft. And you really pay attention to that in the water. Noob will be 30 this year, but you look 12. <laughs> My dad and me went to a carnival and was passing out tickets for drinks. The lady leaned over and asked the guy if they had non <laughs> Oh, wow. When I'm by myself or with friends getting drinks, don't get carded. But uh, I'm with parents. I feel like I'm being interrogated from her having committed. To that is amazing. That is amazing. Noob, I have a friend of mine that she actually um, almost basically stopped aging at 12. I uh, she has almost and, and and in fact two friends that that have this sort of a, 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 a if you want to call it affliction but they they legit have like a shoulder space of about this they're this tiny tiny uh human folk but the fact that they've got an adult brain their ability to argue or rationally discuss is brilliant so it throws people for a loop when they first meet them and discover that they're, like, university-educated uh, folk that have done, like, amazing things. Um, but it just throws them for a huge loop because, like, to them, it's something that has happened anyway to them. It's no big deal. They live it every day. But when somebody's just like, oh, no, that's right. You're, like, a proper... <laughs> it's, like, for, like, a half sack. It's always just that little tiny bit of a taken aback. Uh, so that's that's... That's partly why I, I try to even keep the scruff in, and I'm glad that I've got the salt and pepper coming in on the sides. I, I've i been mistaken for way too young uh, a lot. We have to sleep at wherever our next place is, or we're not gonna survive. Uh, maybe the Turch. Let's go see. Can we make it all the way over? Can we make it all the way over? Don't hit the thingy. Oh, Jeebus. No, 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 no. That's not a thing. Why would you tell me it's over there if I can't make it? If I have no hope of making it. Oh, this is going to get rough. Give me a sec. Focus. Focus to not lose the raft. Okay, good stuff. What is this sleep thing? Why would I slow down right here? Uh, this, I think, is a hardware store type place. 
we might might be able to build better tools here. We need to sleep though. So like I've mentioned before, I would have that as an app, right? The, you 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 go pick up a you go pick up a nap from the from the store or from your phone. Okay, so there's bunnies. I can hear bunnies. This place is big. Can we sleep in one of you? No? Can we sleep? Look at all the mulberries. Ah, here we go. Loot first. Sleep. See? Sleep. Uh, and we even get to pick it. That looks like we're past the halfway point. So let's sleep an additional hour today. <clears throat> Gorgeous. Uh, let's now... I think we just need some food. Consume. Yeah, we're going to be ill-equipped for a little bit. Can we make... No. We need to make, like, hat and mitts. <laughs> hat and mitts will definitely go a long way. Uh... I think we're good for th thirst for now. Wait, can I make a stitching kit? Uh, no, I... Oh, we don't have fishing line. Wow. Last game, we had so much fishing line, and it was fishing hooks. And you need those to make... Um, stitching kits that you use for, like, literally everything. Old lumber. Lots of good gathering here, though, so that's nice. Oh, it's over there, Daisy. Thanks, thanks. Dog is pretty good at showing me where to loot if I haven't been there. Can you pick it up? Yeah, this place was alright size. Um. Ooh. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. That's a boar. That's a big old pig. Oh, jeebus. Oh, jeebus, that's a big old pig. Has he come this far? Wow. Okay. Uh, there's our spear trap. Good stuff. Woo! Bacon with legs. Yes, indeed. I felt terrible. But an absolutely amazing meme. It was a bunch of piglets. And it just says, check it out, bacon seeds. And I absolutely died laughing. <laughs> uh, I felt terrible, but you know. Let's get ourselves some bacon, folks. <clears throat> Nice piggy. Cool. Jerky schematic. Hello. Uh, let's drink some water. When you find a water source, you only get to use it for one of two things. It, it's it's a one time it's a one time use. I think that's kind of a neat dynamic. When you see a water well, you have to figure out what you're going to use it for. Can I open this one? Cool. Another good one is a pig and a cow uh, cuddling and the caption was best friends forever and the next picture was a bacon cheeseburger. Yes, indeed. Friends till the end. <laughs> oh. Alright. Uh... 
we're full up. Can we make stuff? Can we make stuff? I don't think we can make stuff. Oh, raft frame though. Those would probably be good. We have hardware. Um, shoot, we have too many things. Uh, nutrition 20, I don't wanna eat that. Fires don't stack. All right, let's go hit the, the raft. We gotta go put some stuff away. Hopefully we won't board the raft. I occasionally board the raft instead of actually putting stash on it. Oh, wow. We have 10 raft schematics already. That's a lot. Uh, we don't usually use that. Um, to figure out what things to put. Guys kidnap. I would I would gladly. I, I remember in high school we used to wait outside people's jobs to steal them away as soon as they were done their job. We'd sneak them home. I guess I could have eaten both of those garlics. We're going to discover they actually have a use, but... Oh, ho, ho, hold on. Tainted me. Whoa, ho, ho. That's what we can use when we find wolves. These spear traps are great for hog or a wolf, but the, they're, they're great for hogs. They're perfect for that. Wolves will go after tainted meat really well. That should be good. We can carry lots of stuff now. We need to be able to make like stitching kits and whatever. It's cold where I am and right now my temperature is not happy with this. We should also maybe Catch a bunch of these bunnies. Box trap. Yeah, we need way more materials. Jeez. Just jeez. <laughs> There's no catching bunnies unless you have the right materials. Old lumber is nice to have, though. Okay, I think... We need to hope for, like, a fishing spot. <laughs> All right, down this way. Oh, no, 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 down this way. You. Steer the thing. You've got a rudder. Ah, fishy wharf. Let's do it. Soundtrack is amazing. It 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 fits the adventure perfectly. Alright, dandelions, devil's trumpet, sumac. That's a boat ton of poison ivy. I I don't want to risk it for any kind of biscuit. Yes. We gotta make a hat. <laughs> we gotta try making a hat. Fishing line. Do you see this? I honestly think that was it. There's not much to these places, but I think stitching kit. Yes. Nice. Um, do I have? Oh, we used the board to make the, uh, the steel knife. Uh, I'm hoping we can get 
more things like saplings and stuff now. Uh, and fetch us some bunnies. Okay, we'll go this way. You gotta stay away from the debris. All of this is so much harder when you're in white water. Here it comes. You can just sail right with it, you know. Smash into it a bunch. No big. No big. Uh, marina, but we're not so broken. Yeah, let's go here. See if we can get wilderness supplies, cattails, goodness like that. I end up carrying so much dandelion and then I end up only eating dandelion and then my like boar meat goes bad <laughs> and I feel really weird about that. I don't think we'll even need to sleep here though. You can sleep at any fire which is nice. So. Full size stitching kit. Heaps. Whoa hi. By the way, that's a wolf. Oh, jeebas. That's a pack of wolves. Holy crap. Holy crap in a hat. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back way up. I'm ill-equipped indeed. Back way up. Ah, ill-equipped. Okay, that's one. Ah. Back up. Back up. Ah, oh, geez, that's... Okay, so this this run's not going to go very well. Where's my exit? Back way up. Back up. Ah, oh, that's the end of that. Well, we're a lot of lacerated and exhausted. There it goes. We died to a wolf attack today, guys. So apparently when you find a pack of them... Let's break for a moment and have a chat. <laughs> I will say we were not having the most successful run. We were light on a lot of supplies. <clears throat> That's our run. Usually it works out. My cam sits here and the run actually follows like the nice little down and it's grand. It's, it's grand. Uh, but you can see all the places where like we stopped to, to heal. Uh, you can see that's a checkpoint. We healed right after it. Uh, and then we died. We died. What? Like, we like really died. <laughs> we didn't just die. We like really died. We went from, we were full health, having the best day. This is grand. Uh, my record is 17 miles. So we're still shooting to hopefully uh, score a little tiny bit better than that. Store checkpoint. No, no, no. We go main menu. Let's try this again, peeps. Whoo! And let's hope we get a slightly more successful, uh... A slightly more successful... Jump through of, of hoop. Hold on a sec. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Main menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't going to continue at a checkpoint. I guess we needed to do new expedition. New campaign. That's right. Yeah. We are a traveler. Scout options. We will take Daisy again. Let's go for it. All right. Well, that was fun. I fully, I fully expected that we were going to... Uh, 
probably either starve or die of exhaustion. You don't, if you don't have the means to make a fire and you can't find a place to sleep, you'll actually die from lack of sleep. You go into like delirious state. And I think it's neat. We meet Daisy. And she becomes our like companion dog and it's fantastic. And then the radio. Which, uh, our 17 mile run, we managed to turn in the radio quest. Lots of cattails. Oh, and what things did we... What did we give Daisy? Um, okay, she's got some nuts and bolts, some old lumber, raft hardware. That's kind of cool. Okay, river info. Let's do it, peeps. Grab our raft and get going. No rudder. No extra storage. When you come into a mid-game... There's a bunch of ways that could have gone. Mostly for this part, you try to follow the little, like, white lines. And as long as you kind of just gently steer, you do not do badly. Once you have the rudder, you can really go kind of, you can cut across a lot. But this is harrowing without. This gets a little bit like, whoa. I don't really even have the best perspective for it, so... Spacebar lets me shimmy, if you will, but it doesn't always go as far as you'd hope. Oof, that house went under. You can hit these little shopping carts, but I find more often than not, I actually smash into land right after. So I sort of stop doing it. It's like, it, that's like the risk it for the biscuit moments that you get in this game. Um, I think persistent music should be something that all games strive to have. I would have this, this background music all the time, but it, it, it cuts off after a bit. It's like just having somebody with an acoustic guitar playing as I walk along. Also, first few places are usually tame. I don't have to worry about wolves right now. I don't think we've even found big pigs on our first our first go through. Other runs, we've actually even found hats, I'm pretty sure, because you can turn them into into rags, and uh, eventually I was like tearing up extra hats, tons of extra hats, because the hat that I had made was better, and I was still finding hats, and the run that we just lost, I don't think we found cattails like this, not once. <laughs> These are what you use to make uh, rope. I don't think we have anything cool like bunnies out here, but... Sapling indeed. 
Yes. It looks like we're already doing a bit better for gear. Raft hardware, indeed. All right. Well, first place down. What can we make from everything we got today? Yeah, insulated boots, jacket, hat. I can't make... Oh, yes, these actually use the light jacket that I'm wearing to make an insulated jacket. I forgot. That's why I can't make back, um, boots, or, or um, hat and uh, mitts. I don't have those. Once we do find bunnies, different story. Cool. We need to make, we need flint, we need to be able to make stone knife and a hammer so that we can make better things. This would be nice. <laughs> First island went well. Let's see what else we can fetch. Beauty. Uh, these are also quests. Pouch Smith. So if I make a if I make a pouch, then I'll finish a quest. Aha, flint indeed. There we go. Perfect. Empty. Come on now. Stone knife, please. Beautiful. Oh, 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 snare. Braided cord. Snare. Let's get ourselves some bunnies. <laughs> nice. Uh, and maybe just another one over here. These aren't too bad. I like the way that these are done. Uh, Long Dark has something similar to this. I think. Uh, I've picked up a snare but I haven't used it yet. I always feel a little bad, but not as bad as the long dark version. All right, let's see what else we can find. Maybe a little too late in the day for more bunnies. Yeah, a little late in the day for additional bunnies. We'll have to fetch that one again in a sec. Um, and we're not looking to sleep. just pass time? I can't remember if you can do that in this one. Rabbit hat. That right there will add. Will add very well to us. So already we're doing better for cold protection. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Meats. And is raft frame the one that I need? Yeah, it is. Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, old lumber is what you use to also fix it, so... Oh, for new buddy. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Oh, Pillow's letter, I love that emote. That is fantastic. What is going on, Pog Gears? Incoming, oh yes. And that actually, that, that raid one too, it looks like, um, almost like street art, spray paint styles. Slatter, Slatter, welcome in, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Dark Lord returned, you have returned. Excellent, welcome, welcome. Playing more, uh, uh, Flame in the Flood? What are we playing tonight? How is, how was your night? <sighs> how was your night? I have Ice Cold Koopa to thank for that one. Sometimes text is all you need. Text is fantastic. Yeah, he's he's having the worst time for internet these days, isn't he? Just like, I know that he was even tweeting about it uh, a bit back. Uh, the amount of, of what the heck. Had to get the husky off the keyboard. <laughs> I'm not normally faster than you, so I sort of figured that you were... I was guessing something Sebastian-related. Uh, how's everybody's Saturday? Uh, we are trying like heck to survive in a thunderful game. Which we aren't doing the best at. We've already died once. But shh, don't talk about that. That's not what we're here for. Doing fantastic. Playing a game called Prodigal. Which is special because someone in your community helped make it? Are you kidding? You're not, but that's amazing. Wow. That's that's lit. That's super well done. Community made. That is fantastic. Can we sleep just for like two hours? And you got hitched in game? You got hitched in game? Yes. Now we're there. Bunnies now. I guess bunnies don't really want to come out at night, do they? My fire's burned out. Should we move on? Let's maybe move on. Hitched in game is awesome. That's fantastic. Well, we're going to see what the next island has for us. This is a little roguelite uh, survival game about life on a raft. It's got a delightful soundtrack, too. Old top-down Zelda? Nice. Okay, go around the car. So far, a flawless raft run. I'm jinxing myself. Get in there. Beautiful. Well, I'm glad you had a nice night, and that sounds awesome. Playing a game that was partly community, like a member of community, uh, helping to, or making. Um, that's really cool. That does make it look quite a bit special. That's pretty sweet. And Top Down Zelda sounds pretty fantastic. Can we scoot between here and maybe make it to this little marina? I'm wondering if we can make a, a rudder out of here. Love roguelites like this. Always meant to get into it, but Hades stole your attention. Hades is a fine game. Uh, my wife was uh, was actually enjoying that. I keep telling her you have to play Hollow Knight if you can if you can enjoy what Hades brings, then you have to. Oh, we're totally getting a rudder, people. That's dope. That's that's it. That's all we needed. Done. This game is stupid delightful. It's very very uh, quaint. It's very cute. Um, and I, I find it, I, so far I, I find it fair and I like that. Uh, I, I find that roguelites that have, that give you a lot of opportunity. I feel better about my failures than the ones that are really, really hard. I'm like, well, that wasn't on me. Hollow Knight is an amazing game that should be played. She's worried though, because she played Hades in God mode, uh, in order to get through it. And she can't play Hollow Knight with mods on switch. So that's where she already owns it. So we're not we're not a hundred percent sure if she's got somewhere that she'd be able to enjoy it the same. I think she should try it on Switch, and if she likes it, 
she knows that she'd go and buy it on PC, then she can play it with mods and have at. That's my view of it, though. Oh, like, look at all the yucca we're getting this time. We didn't get any last. This is okay. This is a much better run. Plentiful. Plentiful. We might live. Do I have to send you a steam key so she doesn't have an excuse anymore? <laughs> she actually has, like, I want to say five times more games than I do. Um, But yeah, like, she's... Right now, she doesn't get as much time to even play on PC. Uh, so I, I'm trying to encourage her to enjoy it as much as she can through... Like, even just the first few zones are easy to do. Do I have a jar? I do. Cool. Backlog is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not impossible for her to play on PC since you already own it. That's the other thing. Like, we've got the Steam family stuff and whatnot. Like, I've told her a few times, you know, you can just absolutely... No, no, no. Pick up that bunny. Yeah, because that's mean they were just leaving him there. There we go. Um, so yeah, I actually... Uh, so, Pillow's Letter. I, I, I have game acquisition anxiety. I, uh, like, Steam sales will come and go and I won't buy stuff. Because I'm like, yeah, but what if I don't play it? So, like, recently, I've been buying up a few more games and trying out more just because streaming is awesome. And I really like being able to, to play a, a wide variety of games that way. But I still pass up games I know I'd probably enjoy just because, uh, what if, what if? Meanwhile, I swear, it's my, it's my wife's favorite game is buying games. She doesn't play them. She just likes to, she likes to buy them. Oh, hold on. We're not done here, though, are we? Are we done here? There's a boat ton of bunnies, but I don't think we can catch them. Wait, can we do box traps? What does it take to do box traps? Oh, way more saplings. No, never mind. Fanu, have you seen any of the brutal, uh, brutal mods that people have made for Hollow Knight? Oh, oh, geez, yeah. I have a lot of games I need to upgrade your computer to play been on a PC for a long time. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, do you prefer Pillow or Sledder, or should I use the entirety of your name? Just curious. Uh, when I first started streaming, it was on a 4th Gen i5. I actually, uh, if Minecraft, the game was loaded, but I hadn't loaded into a realm yet, I dropped down to four frames. Four frames. It was amazing. I actually have a clip of it, and I, I, I go like this, and I move around a whole bunch, and it's just me clipping. Like, it's a PowerPoint presentation of me uh, so, and when I first played World of Warcraft, it was on practically a, a workstation. It was just abysmal. Um, it was to the point that in order for me to go into a main town in World of Warcraft, my character had to be looking down at their feet so that it didn't render anybody else. And then I had to, like, know where the bank was and gun hard for it like this. And then I'd it'd be like, okay, I'm in the bank. And then I could look up and it would load like the couple of people in there. And then I could actually do my banking and grab. Ah. <laughs> it takes me back. Just amazing. I, like that, that level of like, no, 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 I have to game. It's just awesome. Hey. Oh, we've got lots of stuff now, peeps. Okay, good. You do fine? So now I'm going handle had since uh, Line Rider days. Whoa! Line Rider. Wow! I played a bit of Line Rider. Um, but then I saw, like, YouTube vids of people that were, like, proper good at Line Rider, and I went, Oh, jeez, I'm gonna watch YouTube vids of people with Line Rider skills. I don't have- I didn't have that. We were talking about uh, old usernames way back in from way back in the day. I've had I've had Edge of the Freak since like I I'm I want to say the early 90s. Uh, bulletin board systems I used to sign in as, and I used a lot of like um, old anime handles, ones that were that were never gonna stick, like actual anime characters. 
Like, if anybody's a fan of Ranma One Half, uh, I was Tatawake Kuno for about six months. Um, pissed off everybody as Kuno. Kuno is an annoying human being, so it was fun to play Kuno. <laughs> um, but then when I learned that people will treat girls with a certain uh, difference, then I played Sailor Mercury for like over a year on on bulletin board systems and just loved it. Line rider skills are up to the standards of melee pros. They know the game's physics and can even animate with it. That's just it. Like, there was... There was a certain level of, like, guruism going into that. Just like, this is... This is admirable. This is admirable. Ooh, more water. We shall drink this water. Hmm, the tree is full. We gotta start eating some crap. Uh, we will probably get lots of dandelions. Do we just eat all of our dandelions? Oh no, we eat our we eat our mulberries. There we go. There we go. Oh, Daisy just goes right through it. She don't care. She's a brambly dog. <clears throat> no bunnies or big pigs. Oh, inventory's full. Alright, let's go drop stuff off at the boat and come back for that devil's trumpet. That'll come in handy for when we're after uh, wolves. View to the raft. Shoot. I don't have a ton of things I want to move just yet. I wanted to, I was hoping to find a fire. I wish I could go outside and craft stuff like in video games. Someone asked me what I can do and I start talking about my catapult collection. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, catapult makes me think, have you played Besiege? Uh, Besiege is a fun game. If you like games that have like proper physics, engineering, all that sort of stuff. Besiege is a fantastic game. I'm very mediocre at that game, but I still love it. Uh, it's very, very well done. Let's eat one of my jerky. Yeah, there we go. I've been collecting that stuff for a while. You, you get to keep whatever's in Daisy's bag when you start a new, brand new campaign. Uh, and so I've been, I've been stashing stuff for a while, but you get a new jerky at the beginning of every campaign, so I... I, I stock food. No, but you have seen it. It's really, really well done, and it ramps up slowly. Like, the first thing that you have to do is break a small house, and they give you an entire world of bits that you can strap together like Lego pieces uh, and make a chaos machine. It's, it's a good one. It's a good, like, afternoon game when you're just, like, looking to do stuff and don't want to spend too much brain power on it. All right, let's go back for that trumpet. Done. I have enough food that we should just be making tainted bait right away. Yeah, we'll use the raw meals. They're great for when we find wolf packs. <clears throat> the soundtrack. Oh, can we get all the way over to this place? There we go. These places are often... They'll have like one or two predator type things often they'll have bunnies I think I already hear bunnies hopefully not more wolves I think that'd be fun I'd like to get into playing indie games and trying to get out them more well and something I'll say for besiege as far as a game goes uh, is that 
it gives you all of the things right from the get-go. Every piece that you can build, you can build with from the very beginning. And I thought that was interesting because a lot of games would be like, unlock this, unlock that. And no, that's a big pig. Oh, he's over there. Nothing. We're hiding. Shh. Daisy, don't aggro. Can we make... Can we make... I need braided cord. Can we make... Yes. Okay. Good stuff. Speed of trap. Let's go get us some pig. And where's his aggro radius gonna be? Oh, right there. <laughs> We're perfectly fine, don't worry about it. <clears throat> Is a jigsaw puzzle considered a board game? I think in the most loose possible sense, yes. Yeah. I guess what you could consider it is a tabletop role-playing game where you play the role of like, uh, an archaeologist. No? <laughs> All right, those are empty. Uh, we should get some shut eye. <laughs> Jigsaw puzzle considered a board game. That's kind of awesome. All right, well, we woke up to a terrible thunderstorm. Oh, there are bunnies. I thought I could hear them when we first got here. Well. Snap. Gonna have to try this game out too. It's very hard to, it's hard to get every indie though. Uh, there's like 20 new, ga new games every day. Well, that's just it. There's tons of, of great talent out there. Um. So like, the innovation of games has just been amazing. It's just been well done. Uh, I also recommend uh, Pillow. I recommend Prime Games. That's where this is from. I wanted to chase him over to that side. <clears throat> so Prime Games. Uh, it's really funny. Uh, I mentioned that I have I have game collection uh, or game acquisition anxiety. Um, I was comparing. Uh, Steam game, Steam game numbers, and I had a hundred and fifteen, one one five, a hundred and fifteen Steam games, and my wife has like almost three hundred, I think, or something like that, and then my buddy Naku comes along with like seventeen hundred or whatever, and so like we're just talking about like all of this sort of stuff. I'm like, yeah, I don't really like to collect too many games, blah blah blah. Completely forgot that Prime Games is throwing games at me every week. Don't even look at it. Don't even pretend. This is probably about two months ago. Three months ago, something like that. And then I open up Prime Games and I have 220 games available to me. I'm like, what, what, what am I gonna do with that? So I started playtesting a handful of them and some very, very delightful games, like nice, adorable indies, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, if you have Prime Games, you probably have this title if you, if, if you, you're around from then. Ooh, but a knit hat. We have to have that. Hold on. Uh, is this where I'm already wearing a hat? Yeah, we're just gonna turn it into rags, but still. Yeah, there we go. You're back? Definitely need to put some food in your body? I can believe it. I can believe it. I usually, like, as soon as I hit, uh, hit that raid button and say hey and all that sort of stuff, I usually go through this, like, period of, okay, what didn't I do in the last two and a half hours? <clears throat> I 
Hmm. I have a few things I can eat, but nothing major. Like, I could eat all of my dandelion tea. All of my dandelions, I mean, and not make tea. Oy vey. Well, okay, I'll upgrade my computer first to make a plan, but I get really busy. Thank you, though. No, hey, uh, upgrading a PC can be a giant daunting challenge. It's expensive AF. Um, so, yeah, I commend your efforts, but I also understand why. Oh, just grab that. Don't, don't, don't smack into anything. I know that feeling of notes on my stream prep list reminding you to eat lunch and clean the apartment. Right? Right? Yeah. Well, this is my, like, nifty little breakaway, kind of, because, like, all day I'm a dad. All day I have, I have obvious things that I have to do. They're almost like macros, you know? And so when I when, when when I come on to stream, sometimes I'm just like, this is a lot of fun, and I don't consider that like you should probably eat stuff. <laughs> so like right now, I'm not even really drinking my chai. I should, but I'm not. Uh, we will put. Wait, can I make the hammer yet? Oh yeah, let's do that. Beautiful. Uh, and then we'll put the rest of the these guys away. That should be pretty good. Yeah, it's important to take care of yourself. But sometimes it's tough. View to my raft. Uh, oh, and under rabbit hide. Oh, what do I need to make my pouch? I don't even know yet. Whoa. Good tip, BRB, getting water. Indeed, indeed. Get that, get that. Will you please take a five second drink of your chai? You need to stay hydrated. I will absolutely. See, there's that much left. There's that much left. Hail hydrate. Thank you very much, by the way. Ah, uh, that was nice. And thank you. I enjoy my chai. I don't, I don't drink it enough. That was worth. Your points taste delicious. You take care of me. It's awesome. It's awesome. Let's make a bunch of braided cord. Right? Uh, yeah. Look at all the space now. Okay, is this... Sumac, we can move to that as well. Uh, this is enough for forging, right? Yeah, this is enough for forging. I want to be able to cook stuff if we find it. We find a fire out here. And I know I should be just making my own fire. John Boar's quilt. John Boar! Oh, yes. All the yucca. This is grand. See, we don't even need, like, yeah, we'll be using meat for tainted meat for a long time. We'll be able to use that for. We didn't even find this much cattail last time. Fantastic. Okay, there's the stitching kit. Rabbit pelt pants, yes. Let's make these guys into rags, can we? Oh, boar hide. Let's go gloves for this? I think that's probably best for now. That way. Equip. Yeah, now we have uh, the, the whole five slot for clothing. And then we can start to upgrade the rest of it. We're wearing like a t-shirt, but we have like boar hide gloves. That's fantastic. Oh shoot, yeah, we can make more. Might as well make our jacket. There we go. It's gonna get cold, damn it. Gotta take care. Gotta take care. Alcohol. 
Like we're we're flooded in gear this go. That's great. So far we haven't met the spiders that make those great big webs. That's not yet an enemy. I feel like it will be at some point though. Um can I make uh a, f a campfire? Dry tinder and flint. Flint's on the boat, I think. Um, nah, maybe we'll be okay. Onward. Next place. We're doing okay for stats. We might as well just go and collect more, more no nonsense. Find out what's at the next island. Did I tell you I lost my first three runs of this game to infections just before realizing ants existed? Oh, holy crap. I can believe that. Uh, I got screwed over on my longest game because I didn't realize that snake bites were as deadly as they really are. Uh, I had just happened to have all of the materials to make. Uh, I, I at one point got bit three times uh, by snakes in an area and managed to cure it out. It was no problem. But I just didn't have... Uh, sumac or tea or any of that sort of stuff to cure it and we ended up going to two islands looking for stuff and I we died out in the water <laughs> succumbing to the bite wow uh, I just discovered poison ivy I think that's absolutely mean that there's poison ivy in this game <laughs> um we don't really need that marina right now, but I wouldn't mind this place. Oof. Did you get hit by three separate snakes? Well, one of them was the same snake because I backed into it. <laughs> uh, I got bit. It was it was in early game. Yeah, here's here. This is what ants look like. So I, you, just so that everybody else understands right now, Daisy is hanging out with ants. And if you don't notice them like during the during the, the daytime, you don't notice. Oh, you mean in the game? Yes, no, I've not actually been bitten by any... No, no, I've been bitten by a snake. Not a real snake, but, like, by a garter snake. Um, But, yeah, I got bit by a snake, and I was all like, oh, that's crazy. And then I'm running around, and I'm running around, and I think I was running from a boar, and I got bit by a second snake, and I'm like, that's ridiculous. And then I, I managed to cure out that, and then I got bit by, another, by the first snake a second time, and that was not nice. Uh, we need to, do we have bandage? <laughs> I got bit by three snakes and I was very concerned. I've been bit once by a snake. Uh, and it's because I wanted to take it home. You shouldn't do that. Oh, I can make a stitching kit if we can just... And then we can make a pouch, which will give us more. Okay, cool. Let's go. These only stack to the 10, don't they? Yeah, okay. Chibas. We need to shuffle things with the raft here. Have you been booped by a snake? Pretty much booped, yeah. Having lived in Arizona for 26 years, I can give it... Give you some snake kicks if you like. You, yeah. The hog knows when they get grumpy, will slam their face into you. That's an excellent tip. Yeah, you guys you guys come from a place where it's real danger from, like, your, your snakes. Technically, we do have a rattle snake in Canada. Uh, the Massasauga Rattler uh, is a real and actual snake. Oh, I could have made a single braided cord and we would have had space. Used to. Oh, you're in you're in Ohio now. <clears throat> so then you're used to the kind of wildlife that I get. Um you might get black widows more frequently than I get. Uh, I think they occur south of the Great Lakes. Instead of the the north end, they don't they don't travel past uh water that easily. They don't like the cold up here. Um
We could also... Polluted water, and we'll just leave you on the raft. Uh, we can make a single bandage, just in case we need it. That's excellent, but we'll also leave you on the raft. How do I do... Tinder? Ah, cattail. Right. You're one of those weirdos that doesn't mind the heat? I would absolutely take the heat. I like I like the warm. Uh, my wife my wife is not a fan, so hot AF already. Yeah, I've worked a couple of jobs where the job site got extra warm, and a lot of other people had to not be there, uh, and I was fine, and my boss was fine, so it it ended up making me look real shiny for a, a short bit, which I thought was cute. Like, hey, check it out! I can also endure. Deploy. If it's too hot for even planes to fly, I think it's too hot for people to be outside. Yeah. I can believe that. Alright, let's make a couple of ash cakes. Let's... Oh, yes. We'll cook all of this yucca. That's fantastic. Uh, did I bring my sumac? No, we'll have to go back for it. Oh crap, let's go back now for the sumac. These fires don't last forever. Uh, yeah, move you back. Okay, sit. Sumac tea will definitely help me if we get snake bites. <laughs> Wait, what did I just make? Uh, I cooked yucca. Yucca? Yucca? Am I saying that right? I pay for it when it gets cold. I have legitimate seasonal depression and snow does it every time. Oh, I can believe that. Uh, I'm an indoor kid. I've been okay indoors. Uh, but I, f I fully understand. Uh, I grew up with, uh, folk that had... Oh, I gotta back out of the dock. Uh, seasonal affected disorder and stuff. So like even as a even as a kid my best friend growing up He could not take unnatural light for more than a short period uh, we, we would have to get we would have to get out uh, Clean water yeah there we go. See if we can make. Oh, Corvoda, welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? How is it going? You've been doing good stuff with your uh, your Minecraft team lately. Um, I kind of miss being on a team server. Oh, it's fun the little like uh, realm that we had for a short time there. It's nice being able to add to uh, to a group effort. How you been? What is up? What is up? We have my hammer yeah we do okay uh oh and we have two charcoal let's totally make another water filter that's perfect do we have empty jars we don't okay um i think now that we have space there's stuff upstairs for us to grab done Oh, this is this is a good run so far. We're we're getting a lot of good gear out of this. Um Do we want to sleep? I think we probably want to sleep. Working like a maniac. Yeah, like constantly busy you. You got to stop that. Day by day. Not really sure how to get out of your funk. It's it's honestly it, it I haven't I haven't been in too much of a funk my personal self now, but the few I'd had way back in my day, I I remember just having I, what did I call it? A feeling of floating through life, just like not even. Sh oh. I have to craft dry tinder. My fire just went out. Daisy, I'm not gonna hang out on ants for devil's trumpet. Jeebus. She's a terrible dog. Um. 
So yeah, I, I Godspeed to all of your efforts, good sir. You are more than welcome to hang out, have the best smile as you can here. Ah, uh, you are welcome, man. You are welcome. Feeling like going through the motions. Like that was when I was in when I was in my twenties for sure. I had uh, a whole lot of directionlessness, right? Of just having no idea uh, what 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 is the up. Uh, let's consume some of my yoga. Let's do that. And I guess since we've already got a cooked meat, we'll consume that too. Uh, stitching kit will make you. Oh, and we can now make cool stuff like the pouch. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Bag capacity up. Uh, raw meat. We really do need that devil's trumpet, though. All right. Moving on. We got to hopefully find a water source. We need another jar. This way? Oh, that's a that's a hike. Hold on. Okay, good stuff. Woo. Honestly though, like in, in my in my life, um my kid kinda keeps me currently grounded, but he's also free and extraordinarily demanding. So, you know, it it's keeping me a bit on track. More depression again, what the fanu? Been struggling with self-worth, never feeling accomplished. Yeah, that's honestly it's one of the it's one of the harder things to 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 fully dig into, I think. That's one of the ones that plagues a lot, I think. Um Ever have those days where you get home from work, zone out for 20 minutes, suddenly it's three hours later, you have seven new roller coasters and almost half a kilo of dark chocolate is missing. Right? <laughs> oh, we don't know who Helen is. We've never met Helen before. Do you have water, Helen? Oh, you do have water. Beautiful. Yes, all the hugs for Corvota, by the way. Everybody, everybody drop some hugs if you can. I know where it stems from. It's from growing up with your dad being abusive, but I honestly no clue how to fix it. My my brother struggles a bit more than that, but he's also got three years on me. So uh, talking to my, my mom about my dad's behavior, he was always extraordinarily rough on my brother, uh, who could get nothing right. And he was always beyond easy with me. Like, why would you do that? That is absolutely asinine, but it's definitely affected my bro a heck of a lot more, of course. But yeah, like, straight conversations with my mom anymore. I uh, have a real hard time with some of the past decisions. Therapy is how you fix it. If you're on Medicaid, uh, get them to take that. There you go, there you go. Kai, buddy. Kai, what is going on, man? How How's it going? Thank you for your lark. Thank you for your lark. You guys can tell me I'm amazing at every game I play and I'm streaming. I told me music is years ahead of where it should be. You just don't see it in yourself. And and Corvota, my brother's the same boat. He paints like you wouldn't believe. He can play every musical instrument on the planet and he's a champion chef. But I honestly don't think he knows it. I think that some parts of him do, does, but not all of them. He definitely has a tough go with that. There's bunnies here, right? So I'm with I'm with Fanu. If you can't, and it might even take it might even take a few different uh, different types of therapists over the years to get you where you need to be. But honestly, talking about it with somebody that's able to help put it into perspective for you is possibly one of your best. Let's just get two hours out of this rain. Like a year, uh, a year ago before I started, secluded from everyone. 
Uh, a guy that I knew in college, and actually one of the more charismatic and outgoing people, told me that he was a shut-in before college. That he, he did not talk to people, he didn't go out. He didn't do any of that. And then one day he just said, screw it, signed up for college. And he's like, I just need to find people to talk to. And he's like, government will help pay for my education. Let's get her going. Back to being yourself for the most part. It's just the self-worth uh, that needs a click. Dude. <laughs> Do you think that bunny's going to get? Oh, whoa, that bunny already got. Bunnies for everyone. Best thing you can do is keep cracking at it until a breakthrough happens. My my sister had an amazing therapist for a great deal of time, but then she ended up having to move and then struggled to find somebody that had the same sort of a fit. But at that point, she had at least plateaued a little bit higher. So she felt like that she had the requirements to look for that better therapist. She wasn't just gonna take anybody. So it was kind of it was kind of neat that way that way. Just managed to work out in her favor. Hammer, tender, braided cord. We don't have... Oh, well, we've got those. Okay. Oh, it's the stitching kit we're missing. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Uh, yucca, ash cake. I will consume my mulberries. There isn't enough of me for people to have. No chop in my limbs. I know. I know. We try not to. We try not to. <laughs> I know it's an accomplishment, just don't feel it. Uh, be, be Minecraft without mining the other day. Like, what, but like, see? Like that right there. That is that is lit. That is lit. That is lit. But I get it. I get it. I remember at one point uh, when we were younger, my brother had uh, access to a gallery. And he made everybody else... A contingent on getting his art to this gallery he actually lived closer to it than me but tried to guilt trip me into taking a day off work in order to pick him and his art up to take it to the gallery and it's the sort of thing that even though he was only a few blocks away from it was just such a challenge I think and he honestly needed somebody to be able to do it for him but him and I were not on exactly best terms at the time so I wasn't able to and the opportunity came and went, but it also came and went dozens of times after that as well. So I know that as much as I was, or I could have been able to do stuff for him, but we'd always had a bit of a strained relationship of him essentially demanding that I help him. And so it, it, it always, like, it, it's always kind of, like, had a bit of a back and forth. Now that we're adults, he lives on the other side of the country, but we can, we can we can collaborate a little bit better. We can, we can feel like that we, we don't need to have to push and shove as much, but I think he's always had that, that desire to float through life the way that I do, because I did not have the same father be not nice to me. And that goes a long way. That goes a really long way. So, you know, don't mean to come in here and rant. It's your stream after all. I rarely talk to people. Dude, no, no, no. This is, this is epic topic. This is epic topic. This is, this is something that like a, a bunch of the members of my family have had to deal with. And when you look deep into it, it's usually because somebody above them was just an asshole and it's absolutely life throttling. It's just an, it's, 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 it's terrible. Um, Daisy, I know there's cool shit in the house. Can we talk to Helen first? Geez, sniffer crotch. She's so rude. Let's talk to Helen. Helen Cockrow. There we go. Come in, now let me the elements, dear. Plenty of clean water here. Oh, I, I got that, too. Top off the jars. I drank your water. It's cool. Ask about the gun. Can I have the gun? Reasonably sized firearm there. I don't think I've made a gun yet. Best to play it safe out here in the sticks. Never mind, you dear. Let's ask about your past. I think we still don't know why the world is borked. On account of my advanced years, do forgive me, I've lived out here all my life. I hadn't known it occurred till I heard a drifter gossip one day. Even then, thought he was mostly bunk. 
Why is there always an old lady with a gun? I know, she's like Grey Mother. I, but this time I didn't hesitate and we just straight up asked about the gun. We just kind of was like, you know what, gun? Uh, in Long Dark, I was afraid that gun was going to be like, give me that. And then I beat the old lady up and I really didn't want to do that. So don't seem much concerned. People go, uh, people elsewhere stay or go all the same to me. Beyond that fence out back, may as well be another word. World. Jeez, I cannot. Hey there, daddy guy. Daddy. Daddy guy. Daddy. Daddy guy. Wonderful to have such a charming company. Do drop back in. I say that a lot, you know? I say that a lot. Uh. Well, oh yeah, hold on. Daisy was telling me about the house. All right, good dog. Do you happen to have anything in your house? Can I steal extra jars from you, for example? I'm going to loot your crap. I'm going to take your salts and your old lumber. Shh. Just enjoy it. I want those wine bottles. You figure you could put water in those, right? Uh, so, of things we can make. Not a great deal. Um, I wouldn't mind carrying more raft hardware. Because we have raft frames, right? Yeah. There we go. This will get me my upgrades when we get to a marina at some point. Next. Next. Oh, whoa, whoa. Not that way. Not this way. I, st I still don't know what that knock sound is. I, I still don't. It's like I'm punching my mic. I'm not punching my mic. See if we can grab this. Yeah, baby. Nuts and bolts ought to help. Not a lot of ports out here. Not a lot of ports. Uh, marina. But we're not a lot of broken just yet. Camping place. Let's go camping place. Camp Jody Cody. Often has flint, always has a lit fire. You know, that's lit. Oh, we actually completed two things. This looks like it's going to have boar and or wolves at it. I have tainted bait. Uh, yeah, okay. I can't believe we got mauled by wolves last uh, in in earlier in the stream. Ooh, full inventory. Ow. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a big pig. Lots of growlies. Darth mauled by wolves. Yes. 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 Oh, Daisy, just take the nuts and bolts when we get them, damn it. Uh, I love that you can just eat corn. It's not even cooked. Uh, keep forgetting, like, most of this stuff should be moved to my raft. There's no point in me carrying a campfire. Like, like, what are we doing, like? Uh, that should be enough. Um, ditch the salt, too. Okay. Oh, but before we do anything else, can we make a, a trap? Yeah, there we go. We definitely don't need... Big pig gaming on us. Where 
whereabouts was he anyway? I want to say over this way. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we too frequently have extra pigs. I think I I don't think I'd, I've seen a full size wolf pack before though either. I think I saw two wolves once, but not three of them all together. I think it was on a big enough island that had. I love these places that are just filled with loot boxes. That's just grand. So much going on here. Uh, and you have all my old lumber? That is amazing. Yeah, which one do we need? We need more... Actually, raft hardware and frame if we could make them. Yeah. Because we want better stuff. We want the better stuff. Do we get extra slots? Hoarding is best, right? There. And now we need more stitching kits. <laughs> Cattails only stack by the 10. Uh, so we'll try to... Try to manage our inventory best if we can. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Yeah, the RNGs in this game can be a lot of fun. That last run, we were thirsty and exhausted and hungry, and then eventually mauled by wolves. Remember, do not damage uh, the bulbous end of the cattail, despite how they looks that are not a replacement for corn dogs. <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> no, they are not. They burn well, though, don't they? Uh, let's steal some charcoal. Let's sit. Fire crafting. So now we can cook uh, some yucca. Might as well make that devil's trumpet. We'll cook a single cooked meat. I'll just eat that now. Um. Oh, these only stack by the five. Did you know that? Well then. Yes, they burn quite well, especially if you allow the end to fluff up first. I was kind of picturing that you, like, tear just the very tip and then stake that uh, into the ground, but only about, like, this far. Uh, and then put a bunch of stuff around it and light the top. And it would probably just... And straight down. I remember... Uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're like a red thingy that's shaped just like this. They're only even, like, about this big. Uh, and they grow at the end of a really tall stalk, and there'll be, like, tons of them. Uh, and we break one of those off and uh, burn them. It's like tiny little bud-like flowers. Uh, the thing almost looks fake. Uh, but I would find them when we were camping, and they burn really, really well. Because they're, they're dense, but they've got a little bit of, like, the moisture content, because they're kind of a flower. Uh... And so, yeah, we'd burn those things. 
Uh, I think... Oh, jeez, brambles. I think that's everything. We already got all the stuff. Okay. Oh, ho! what is going on? Carl Papa. What is happening? How's been your adventures? How, how have you been feeling lately, by the way? I know that you were having a bit of a... Oh, can we make it there? Oh, we really can't. Damn it. <clears throat> Mara. Mara. <laughs> Hello, friends. How it goes? How it goes? Still soft lurking mode. What are you playing, Kai? What are you playing? What are you gaming on tonight? What are you playing? Yeah, yeah. Dude, 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 dude. What is anybody playing? If you guys are playing games out there at the same time, what are you playing? I'm I'm playing f <laughs> You guys know what I'm playing. But yeah, like what you got? What you got, people? Oh, can we get this one? Yeah. That's extra rags we didn't have, yo. Can we get all the way over? Oh. Yes. Playing Wargroove single mode. I don't know if I know Wargroove. When you mentioned it earlier, I was like, do I know Wargroove? I'm all like, do I know that? Okay, this I feel like is gonna have a wolf at it. We got bunnies. We got bunnies. It's like Fire Emblem, but the Walmart version. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. <laughs> the Walmart version. Playing Fantasy Star Online 2. Whoa. Look at you people playing games I don't know. This is awesome. That is that is great. That's how you learn things. I keep thinking I'm seeing movement out of the corner of my eye. Like my kid's awake and he's just walking around. He's three. He should not be walking around. But anyway. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but you love strategy games like this. That's cool. That's cool. I've not actually played Fire Emblem, but I know uh, Trex did. Uh, Parker might have played it as well. Walrus, is that a game that you've ever played? Um, I guess if we're leaving, I should just drink that water, yeah? I, we don't have an empty, empty container. We do not. No, let's be honest, if Jack was up right now, he'd be levitating around yelling Latin for snacks. <laughs> Hundred percent true. Uh sorry, Fire Emblem. Is Fire Emblem something that's ever been on Yo radar? Do we need bunnies? Do we need can we do anything about these guys? Can we grab up some bunnies while we're here? No, we need. What do we need? Saplings? Anyway. You can definitely stream some Fire Emblem games for you as soon as you learn how to set up stream elements for Twitch. I, I, never a game sounded interesting. I'm never, I'm never sure like what what games are gonna work out, and I don't know Fire Emblem myself, but I always like to know who is into who what. Um, but I'm trying to remember who else I knew that had played it. Um, but yeah, definitely would love to see some Fire Emblem stream. That sounds fun. That sounds like all the fun. You to the raft. Uh, did we, we got extra corn. Move to the raft. Um. Oh, move to the dog. What are you doing outside the dog? That's rough. Cook yuck. Uh, regular yucca. Oh, aloe. There we go. Perfect. Move to the raft. Manger Nintendo franchise. Oh, okay. There we go. You know my intelligence level because that's <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, and actually, um, Walrus, it's it's fun that you mention uh, that most of it the work is in OBS. Uh, I usually try to champion that myself. Like, if you can get OBS set up, then Stream Elements just adds to the party. It doesn't actually. It's not actually the party. It just adds to it. At some point, though, we got to get together. We got to get together. 
help you with that stream elements goodness. All right, I think we're okay to move on to next areas. I just feel like that I'm missing something. And I want to go back for... Oh, we have so much cook yuck. Let's eat some of that. All right, good enough. I work in the mornings, and the latest time done is 10 a.m., depending on what we have done with the sheep. And after that, I am free until the next day. Oof. Oh, come on. We want to go around this guy. We want to try to grab from the loot. Nuts and bolts will do. And onto the dock. Stop it. Somewhere to sleep. Somewhere for saplings. Where'd my mouse cursor go? Does anybody else m lose their mouse cursor? I had a hard time playing Diablo because I used to lose my mouse cursor. And apparently it's a thing, but it doesn't happen to everybody. Something that's plagued me a little bit. I don't feel like it used to happen as much when I was a kid. Like, I'd play other games that probably had mouse cursor things, but I... Like, I literally have to do this and swirl the mouse cursor around a whole bunch to see if I can find it. Look at all them cattails, too. Yeah, our wolf run, we did not get this many supplies. This is cool. This is really good. And then we're going to save for the night. And when we come into this tomorrow, we're going to die within, like, our next two islands. Because I'll be like, hurdy dur, are we having a good time? <laughs> I'll have no idea if, if, if we're having a good time. And then I'll die. Okay, that house is definitely not livable. Stop it! Alright, well... This was a pretty short island jab. Can we make a few things though? Yeah, like, we've got stitching kits out of this, so that's excellent. Uh... Apparently, my gear rating is pretty good, though. Even though I'm in cotton pants. Um, so let's upgrade the pants, then. Tons of rags. I want there to be a button I can hit that moves the moves things into my raft that are already there. I know why they don't do that, because that's not very good for survival games. It's supposed to be surviving. And if I can hit a button and be like, survive. Um, we're hoping to get lucky enough to have a new jar soon. My, uh, my record run, uh, I was up to, like, seven jars eventually. What are we at? Six miles now? We went 17 point something. 17.4. We got a long way to go. Oh, we're in the Blessed River. Uh, let's follow this thing out a little bit. Smash. Wow. 
That was a bit of luck. Do you think we can get over to here? <laughs> yes. Let's go to church, peeps. The respite of Kaiser's far. Kaiser? Is that Kaiser? Raph schematic. Thank you. Oh, we should maybe sleep. Get ourselves some sleep in here. We're also hoping to find water. Jars? Water? What do you think? Ah, oh, fishing hooks are welcome. Uh, stitching kit, please. Thank you. Beautiful. Uh, we should make more clothing. Hello. <laughs> That's still funny to me. Jar. Look at that. That is perfect. Honestly, you want to have a couple of jars because you want to be able to make tea and have them on hand, available. Unlike when I had my snake run. Fishing line is always welcome too. And I hear bunnies. Oh, this is a big place. Carl, you're liking it? This is great. Original too. This is actually they they they've got a writer. We opened this one. Yeah. Yeah, the soundtrack is uh is quite unique. I like it. Through the dark and the wet and the rain. Oh the wind and the rain. There we go. The dark, the wind, and the rain. Nice church. Nice little, nice little quaint church here. Yeah, I, I was, I was really interested. I was worried that uh, the soundtrack would have some serious DMCA if it's purchased music that they have the license to play, and I do not. Oh, that's big, big. Hi, everybody. Dream got serious. Give me a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, get wrecked. Daisy, stop. No aggro. All I have is tainted bait. Okay. What can we make? <laughs> Spear trap. Uh, inventory. What else can we do? Do I have? Yeah, you can move. There we go. Whew. All right, let's try not dying to big pig. Where is your aggro radius? Oh, geez. There? There. No line of sight. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Daisy, no aggro. No aggro, damn it. <laughs> Whoa, hi there. Okay, running from pigs, running from pigs. Yeah, 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 that's great. Running from pigs. All right. So now that we've established his aggro radius. <laughs> yeah, we're thirsty because we're running from lots and lots of pig. All right, where's a good place? Stepped away for a minute. What's up with the old piggy chasing you guys? Well, <laughs> they're not friendly. <laughs> Probably as hungry as I am. I just don't know where. I think he's kind of over. Oh, over this way. Cheapest running again, running again, running again. 
I also only have a so big of a stamina bar. Woo! Yeah, bacon is definitely kind of trying to numb. All right. They reset well, though. All right, let's maybe come around this way. Oh, no, no, no. That's fast. That's fast. They're quick. Okay, come around, come around. If you notice, though, they get to a point where they, they, they kind of won't cross. But it does not appear to be here. Oh. That's not stressful or nothing. <laughs> All right, set up a trap. Let's go pick up some bacon. Come on through. Come on through. Oh, you're not a raptor from Jurassic Park. Just have at. I did that. Thank you. Why has my brain just been filled with dad jokes for the entire week? It's been it's been very dad joke heavy uh, out there in the world. There's a, a couple of accounts on TikTok I've been considering following just because their dad humor is brilliant. Over the top good. We didn't find any water here. Or we did and the pig was guarding it. We might have to go thirsty here, guys. We don't got sodi pops or anything to drink. You're not even on TikTok. Why aren't you on TikTok? That's like ADD TV for me, though. I imagine TikTok is not for everybody. All right, I think we're good here. We don't happen to have spare water. No. Oh, actually, yeah, hold on. Uh, and we have, yeah, the bag, make some clean water, and let's drink that nonsense right now. My cooked yuck. <laughs> it's like 80% horny, 20% self promo ads, and six good creators. I uh, I've found that as long as long as I scroll fast past the horny, I get skill vids, I get um, dad jokes, uh, and I get um like meal hacks really good like interesting meal hacks uh now that i know how to grab some of the vids off of tiktok i should throw them on the server i should throw them up on discord uh i think that would be really good uh bandage move to the left that's pretty good. Salt can also move the raft. Um, what else needs to go here? Inventory management is always one of the bigger things in games. Oh, I guess I had you to move over there. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. You are the... One use left. Move the bag. Let's just make some more clean water now. Okay, boss run is done. I can chat again. <laughs> that's awesome, Vanu. So I'm the only one that gets worried when I see a cow smoking a blunt. I feel like that steaks could not get... <laughs> uh, I definitely... Uh, I, I enjoy that. Oh. Uh. Uh, and clean water will stay. Oh, how did I pick the wrong filter? Oh, jeebus. I think, I thought I was doing good. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's get one more destination in us. And we'll see where we can go here. 
Uh, is that a marina? Oh, let's park at a marina. Done. I feel like the stakes could not get higher. Yeah, I'm trying to save a few of the dad jokes that I get. All right. We can afford sturdy frame. Oh, yeah. We can afford a raft shelter. Now, I'll point out, I've had raft storage before. That's kind of cool, but I always forget about it. I've never had raft shelter. Like, does this mean that while we boat, we get less tired? I say we find out. Possibly uh, while we're docked, we can purify water, sleep, that sort of stuff. But I've actually had issues with finding shelter. Um, so I think that's amazing. And then we'll fix. I don't know how we use... Hmm. Let's see if... Oh, depart, sleep, leave raft. Wait, leave raft? Oh, like leave like I'm going to hang out here further. Okay. Like, I can now leave it? That's cool. We can now sleep, people. Let's go one more location. We'll save there. There we go. soundtrack in this game. Alright, let's cut through small place here. I am now wet. We've gone seven miles though. We're ten miles off of my record. So tomorrow night we're hoping that we have a no die run. A no a no die. Oh, and we find another marina. Jeebus. I've actually seen that joke, uh, Voda, as a... as a TikTok vid with two dudes doing shots at a, like, a stand-up short bar. All right, well, we're here at State, at uh, Saints Landing? Saints Landing? So I think this is where we're gonna call it. Yeah, the video, the video is gold. The video is absolutely gold. I'll give that a, oh, hold on. I almost had that ready. Music. Hey, there we go. Oh, unbelievable, people. This was a grand night. This was lots of fun. I loved all of our conversation. This was too good. Um, but also tons of good progress. We got mauled. Darf mauled by wolves. Uh, it's pretty great. Dr. Frankenfurter? I don't even want to Google that. I don't think I'm going to have a good night's sleep if I Google that. Someone tells you. Jeebus. Um, yeah, this was, this was cool. This was cool, guys. This was lots of fun. Thank you so much for the awesome night. Look at this. Look at this raid going on. Wait, which way do I point? There we go. We got ourselves a sub. Holy crap. Oh, Rocky Horror. Okay, there we go. Never mind. That's perfect. Uh, we got ourselves an excellent raid host what the funny yo uh and pillow sledder welcome in as a follower i haven't seen rocky horror in a bit but when i did see it my wife has the 25th anniversary dvd uh and we couldn't play it but we found a proper emulator for it and there's maybe we could play it i can't remember but there's a a, a secret menu uh and the movie is black and white until time warp so that was my first way to see Rocky Horror, and I think that's the best. Like it's it's it like the entire thing for the first what is it, 22 minutes before before they hit time warp is all in black and white. And honestly, that's the way to watch that. That's a great way to watch that. 
So I saw that for the first time. Uh, only certain DVD rips will have it. Um, I think I remember having to select it with my mouse though, and I don't remember that being the case with DVD players. Oh, I'm giving myself a posture check. And do we have? We have a little bit more Jay. So I didn't see Rocky Horror until like semi recently. Mm. I watched the remake, like that ABC or something made a crap. Oh, they're, they're, they made a remake? Eh. And yes, Hail Hydrate. Oh, I don't even have it up. <laughs> they're purple here. They're like these ones here when I chat, the little orange ones, and then they're the purple squigs up this way. That's really, really cute. Uh. And I added a new, oh, it's still pending approval. I added a new uh, emote for, that, that one's for Wedge. He gets his own emote now. <laughs> hydrate, hail hydrate. So yeah, Wedge gets his own, his own, his own emote. Uh, but I also have uh, an animated GIF of me spinning a D4 coming as well. Uh, so Walrus, if you think about it, anytime that Wedge gives us uh, conversationals, if you throw the Wedge emote in instead. Now granted, people have to have better Twitch TV to see it, but it pops up on the screen. It pops up on the screen. <laughs> I'm super happy that we got Wedge as our nice little robot. It's fun having a robot moderator. It's just, it's just grand. Oh, there we go. We have a hug command now? Is that brand new? I kind of love that we have a hug command. That's amazing. Hold on. There we go. Half an hour ago? There we go. I just punched you with a big old bullet fruit punch. Um. Who do we got out there, everybody? Who do we got? We got a couple of people we could raid tonight. We got a lot of fun folk. Tonight's actually kind of a hopping night. Um, do we want to raid somebody who is playing Sea of Thieves, Dungeons and Dragons, Rocket League, or Dead by Daylight? <laughs> this is what this is why I don't do autofocus. I like to point at my camera a lot. Not a lot, but you know, enough. D&D. D&D. &D. Yeah, Hobbit does uh, Dungeons and Dragons Nights. And I actually think it's pretty cool that people are so interested in tabletop role-playing uh, that they will they will stream it. I quite like Hobbit, though. He's, he's good folks, so I say... Oh, and he's currently working on writing a campaign. All right, everybody. We're going to be doing this fun style tomorrow. Same arse time. Uh, 10 p.m. We're going to play some more Flame in the Flood because I like this game. I think that it's pretty good uh, for chat, but it's also giving me some fun progress. Uh, thank you for being here, Finian. This was a lot of fun, man. This was a lot of fun. It's good having you. It's good having you. Played D&D last night and it was intense. Character uh, called Kai's character a bitch and you cried out. Oh, dude, dude, it can get intense. What happens at the table stays at the table, though. Remember that. Remember that. When your fate rocks tell you to do stupid things, remember, you don't have to have done that. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, Everybody, let's pack up some uh, delicious raid hype. Uh, and we'll bring it over to uh, a fun D&D stream for Sarcastic Hobbit. He's an IT dude uh, that uh, that uh, uh, streams often late at night. Good folk. He's good folk. It can get intense. Very much intense. All right, peeps. Thanks again for the wicked fun night. And we will do this again tomorrow night. And then the night after that. And then after that. And then after that. And then after that. And then I'll take two nights off. And we'll do it all over again. It'll be crazy. Thanks and things, guys. Enjoy. <laughs>